again everyone um, for dinner tonight I am making a dish by um, Kimmy at she's in her apron I love her by the way I will link this original video down below so that you can see hers too but I'm making her Italian crock pot chicken tonight um, what I've done is I've taken four boneless skinless chicken breasts and I use those big ones that I got from Zacon, so I thought that four would be enough. And I've just cut them into cubes. Um, <laughs> this is one of my tricks, I think I've told you before, um, to, if you're feeding a, a large group or a bunch of teenagers, just feeding a crowd, sometimes it, it can make your food stretch a lot further, where I can take four chicken breasts and feed six to eight people with it, simply by cutting it up into smaller pieces as opposed to each person having thinking he has his own chicken. Do you see what I mean? Um, I do that with pork chops sometimes. Uh, definitely chicken, especially if I get big pieces of chicken. Um, because then, first of all, most of the time um, if you have someone who's not a big, big eater, the person won't eat the whole chicken breast anyway. Um, so, or, or if he does, he won't eat anything else. <laughs> I've had that problem too with my youngest one. Um, he will eat, he'll either eat all of his chicken or some of his chicken and some of his vegetables or nothing at all. <laughs> so I like to make sure that I cut it up into pieces where I can divide it up per person once I serve it. And it just seems to stretch it a little bit further. Um, and now I'm taking just a packet of Italian dressing mix and I'm pouring it on the chicken. I'm going to just dump it in there. Kimmy was nice and um, organized and sprinkled everything evenly, but I'm not because then I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to mix it up. And... She just used one packet, and that I, I'll probably, after I get this all mixed up, I will probably look at it and see if I think I need another packet. Um, but then you cook it for four hours on low in the crock pot, and then um, it's, let's see, it's 2 o'clock now, so we like to eat about 6.30, so I think this will be plenty of time because there is a step after um, you get the chicken cooked for the four hours, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the crock pot and turn it on, and uh, I'll bring you back in four hours. It's not been the four hours yet, but I did want to tell you that I, I mixed it up, and I did go ahead and add another packet of dressing mix in there. I just kind of felt like I wanted all of the pieces of chicken to be covered with the, the seasoning packet, um, and... If it's too strong, oh well, lesson learned. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking this, and I'll bring you back when it's ready for the next step. And Okay, it's been four hours since I put the chicken in the crock pot, so now I'm making the creamy sauce. I have four ounces of softened cream cheese, and I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup to it and mix it all together. I think I'll probably add some mushrooms to it too, a can of mushrooms, because my husband really likes mushrooms. Um, so I'm going to add the soup and the mushrooms, and I'll be right back. Hi everyone. Um, this is a screenshot of the video that you just watched. Um, I did not record the last portion of the video for this dish and I am so sorry so I wanted to go ahead and fi finish telling you what I did and um, tell you how we liked it and say thank you again to Kimmy for sharing this recipe on her her channel um, what I did after I cooked it for the four hours is I mixed in um, the cream cheese and a can of cream of mushroom soup and then a can of um, mushrooms and I drained the mushrooms. I put that in the, um, the chicken and 
I felt like I wanted it a little saucier, if that's a word, um, because maybe I just had more chicken than the recipe called for. I'm not really sure, but um, I wanted it to be more, so I did. Uh, I used the other half of the those cream cheese and another can of cream of mushroom soup and another can of mushrooms oh and by the way I did go back in and add uh, the second packet of seasoning mix to it of the uh, the dressing mix and it really did make a difference so I doubled everything else on the recipe and um, we really liked it. I made some egg noodles and we had some vegetables that were left over from the night before and a salad. And it was really good. Um, there's me showing you the, <laughs> the uh, seasoning packet. Um, it was really good. I felt like we could probably do some different things with it. Um, different seasonings, um, different... Um, different bases as far as um, pasta or rice or potatoes or something like that. So I was really excited to try that recipe and we did like it. The kids really did like it. They liked it a lot. Um, but I feel like I could do a lot of things with it so I'm glad to have that in my repertoire and um, I will probably do it again and when I do I will record the video so that I can show you how I tweak it and um, maybe you can share with me how you do yours. Thank you so much again for watching. And like I said, I'm sorry I missed the last part of the video. It was so crazy here at my house when I finished dinner. And sorry, my screensaver just came on. <laughs> I'm not having a good day, am I? Oh, well, that's part of the fun of YouTube. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.